new deck build that I just did, and I'm pretty excited, so let's go ahead and check it out. This is my first time doing a voiceover, so I hope that the uh, audio and everything kind of comes out correctly here. I'm just using 2 by 2 inch uh, structural tubing. It's a 11 gauge or 8 inch um, thick, 2 inch, two by 2 inches wide. I'm cutting 22 degree angles out of it, so that way each one of those little bends there will come out to about 45 degrees. I'm going to go ahead and just weld them up and I have to do everything outside and this build takes me so long simply because I got to wait on the weather and the wind and a whole bunch of stuff. Here I'm going to go ahead and just make some quick brackets and this is how I'm going to attach the upper support beams to the camper itself. I'm going to go ahead and weld those up. I cut out the inside there so I can actually uh, bolt down through it and attach it to the camper. Grind up all the sides, just make everything nice and neat as I can. Here I'm going to go and weld those uh, extension tabs up to the on the onto the top of the main support beams. Always double check your work, make sure everything looks good. Yeah. Here you can see kind of see how long everything is. At the very bottom, I'm welding on some uh, little L brackets and. I don't know what happened with that metal, if it's a different different type of steel, but it did not weld that good, so I actually kind of had to bolt those together. Here I am cutting the main back bracket that's going to go on the back that you'll see me weld up to the deck here. My buddy Will came over to help me with everything. We're holding everything up. You can see that back support bracket right there I just moved. Right now I'm just using uh, some self tappers just to hold it temporarily in place and then eventually I will bolt everything in together. I'm putting that main support beam in, we're going to go ahead and weld that up real quick. And yes I do some tack welds. Here is some extra footage of the, another thing that I'm putting in here is I'm putting in a, um, a workbench so I kind of wanted to show all this together. I routed the sides, made it look all nice and pretty. And this is just an inch and a half butcher block that I got from Menards. And obviously I'm going to go ahead and stain it. And I'm actually going to use a outside decking stain from uh, Olympic Maximum. I got the cedar one, but I'll be honest with you, like I love the performance of their stuff. I use it all the time, but I really did not like this pumpkin orange here. So I ended up uh, restaining it with uh, some uh, poly stain, and I think it ended up looking much, much better here but it's still waterproof and everything and everything like that so and I can still even if, if I want to I can still go ahead and hit it with like another clear coat of uh, either polyurethane or anything like that just to kind of help protect it but it's got many layers on there it's got that decking stain so it should be good here I'm going to make the support or the legs I should say for the for the workbench I just really wanted a workbench so that way I'd have something to actually like cook off of and fix the jeep and you know work on and just like a nice sturdy support table in the back I did not want anything just cheap that was wasn't going to work out so I'm just gonna weld everything up here you can see that I already painted the legs and I'm gonna go ahead and situate them in there and make sure to see where I'm gonna need to put the brackets this took me forever I actually had you can see on the top there I actually made a mistake and bolted the brackets on in the wrong orientation because the way that's gonna come out it's gonna like unfold like a Z so I had to go back and, and redo that here. But I'm going and check in the operation, make sure everything kind of folds down exactly where I want and everything is straight. Here I'm going to put on the front brackets. Now this is actually what this is actually going to be the part that connects to the camper that I will uh, be able to fold down. So everything will just fold up nice and flat and then the legs and table will fold down and I'll be happy. Next up, I'm going to go ahead and mark out where the cross beams are going to go. It is extremely windy here in uh, southern Wyoming, and if you don't work in the wind, you basically don't ever work at all. So I wanted to get all those marked out so that I didn't have to measure them each time while trying to hold the bar. Go ahead and cut it. I'm just using, once again, um, 11 gauge 1x1 one one steel for the main cross beams. And I'm not going to lie, this is probably some of the uh, the worst welding I've ever done in my life. But it's structural, it's solid. Um, living in southern Wyoming, if you don't, like I said, if you don't do work in the wind, you're never going to get out there. So I did the best I could. And uh, 
I mean, it turned out okay. That's why I kind of consider myself more of a grinder than a welder. But he will show back up. He's going to help me move these. These are going to be the main deck, the main uh, support or plate that it's going to sit on there. This is three quarter inch plywood and it is pressure treated. So these things are heavy, they're thick. Uh, that's against the Menards AC2. So I'll put that on here. But first I'm going to go ahead and kind of give everything its base coat of uh, just black paint. I like to use um, Rust-Oleum, it's like a 15 minute black black paint, spray paint. This is, once again, another just base layer. This one's gonna go, the black paint is gonna face down. I wanted to do this now before I install them because it'd be a pain to try to paint overhead and not uh, destroy everything on the bottom. And I'm gonna go ahead and put everything up. As you see that I had to take off my old ladder, so I'm having to go back to using uh, my side ladder again until I can make that putting everything up. I'm measuring the last last board here. I'm going to have to cut it to length because it is a little bit shorter uh, than the standard 4x8 panels that I was using. I'm going to go ahead and cut that off. Nice and neat. Clean up the edges. And yes, I'm a neat freak so I'm going to clean everything up. Here I'm going ahead and starting to install or screw down the panels. I'm using wood to metal uh, deck screws, I believe. So they're self-tapping and they uh, drill through the wood and they, they do perfect. I'm kind of just getting on the outsides where I can see where there are the cross beams. Then I add some chalk lines to make sure that all the screws in the center actually hit the, the cross beams in here. That's what I'm doing there, screwing those in, kind of walking around checking it. This I just thought was kind of cool footage. I got this decking material once again from Menards. I swear that place takes almost all of my paycheck every time. And this is just the deck capping material that I got. So it's actually not a deck per se. It's just the what you would use to refinish it. And I wanted to get this because it's actually a pretty nice um, synthetic structure. It kind of just molded resin and sawdust together. But it's already got the color that I want. It's nice and uh, uniform, looks good. I'm gonna go ahead and just uh, screw these in with one inch outdoor coated uh, screws. Yes, I know that they make actual, um, what's, what's the word I'm looking for, the fasteners that are hidden in this thing, but I really don't care. I just wanted uh, something simple, something cheap that I can screw in, screw out, and build up and take down. And this took me forever, and yes, I know that there's a, a rip in my pants. Uh, quit staring at my ass. Alright, so I think I got the, uh, the deck slash permanent awning mostly finished. Uh, the only couple things I still need to add on will be a ladder right here. As you can see, I'm using a little ladder behind me just to get up on top for right now. But I'm going to weld slash bolt in a ladder that uh, sits flush with the side here so I can get up on top of, uh, up on top of the deck. And then those LED strip lights that I made in the last video, those are going to be what uh, what illuminates this. So also in the footage, I also threw in this uh, bench here, this workbench here while I was building this. And I thought it was just kind of cool. I didn't know where else to put the, um, the footage, but I wanted a nice solid butcher block tabletop that I could uh, come in here and work on. I can cook on here underneath the overhang when I'm outside. But then when I park the Jeep, it just folds up like that. So that's pretty, uh, pretty nifty. I'm, uh, I'm pretty happy with how it turned out. Still need to fabricate some latches right now. I'm just going to use a tie down strap to hold it up during transport, but I'm sure I'll over engineer some cool like contraption to close and lock it so it doesn't bounce around. But, uh, but yeah, I'm pretty happy with how uh, the underside turned out. So this would be a nice place to cook and work on the Jeep. The other nice thing about having this overhang is that when I win my Jeep brakes, because it will break at some point, I can pull it up here, about here, take the hood up, and I have like a nice covered area to work in. So my tools, my parts, I can work on the Jeep. I'll have lights, so I'll be kind of out of the direct sun and uh, maybe even rain if I have to. So let's go up top and uh, check it out. All right, this is the top part, and as you can see, it's completely decked out. It's pretty solid. It's got a little bit of give to it, which is kind of what I want for being able to travel. So it can flex just a little bit, but as you can see, it can hold my weight very, very easily. It's the, uh, I'm gonna call this like the uh, the sun deck. And I, as far as I know, I've never seen anyone else do this on a camp or actually have an upper story deck that you can come and uh, hang out on. So when I'm out on my adventures, let's say I'm out in uh, like an event or something like that that I wanna watch or anything like that, I can get up here with some chairs and check it out and hang out, which will be awesome. 
kind of like a sun deck. I can fly my drone from up here so I can get a little bit better reception. It will definitely be, it'll definitely be pretty nice. And it's uh, decked out in this deck capping material I got from uh, Menards. I really like the way that this looks. It's like, I'm pretty sure it's just resin and saw, uh, sawdust that's been pressed together to look like wood which is perfect because this is going to take the brunt of the weather during travel and sun and that way it's uh it'll it'll last it up the only thing i'm not liking so far about it is it it is slick as snot it is ridiculous so i don't know if like weathering will give it more texture or not but so i just use normal screws or decking screws exterior coated uh to uh bolt it down they protrude up a little bit but that's okay if anything it gives me a little bit more uh a little more traction but yeah now obviously you're going to want to be careful up here because there are no guardrails there are no uh safety devices it's literally just a place for me personally to come hang out and then uh as you can see it's just a pretty nice transition from the top of the roof to the deck area and then once i get the ladder the ladder will come up right here and I can get up here and kind of walk around so but uh but yeah so i hope you guys have like this build I've uh, probably taken me about a week to get this done I'd say for a top deck but it is pretty nice I'm pretty excited about it so hope you guys like what I'm showing you and uh, I'll see you on the next video bye